Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz. This one is called Story Come to Bump, people. Don't know if you've heard this voice note before. This is a voice note of a man that knows about Vives Cartel, knows about Lizard, and is explaining everything in intricate details of how one of his friends, a Rastaman, Bobo, lost his life because of some sorts of tool taken out by Lizard. Now we know the buzzing topic all over social media is that Vives Cartel is squash his conviction him and his co-accused it was squashed by the privy council and they are considering if there's to be any sorts of retrial and one of the main components in this case is clive lizard williams the person that was allegedly taken out by virus cartel and the co-accused however like the saying goes t from teeth god laugh so therefore m-u-r-d-e-r Take away an X M U R D E R E R, then God is probably going to laugh. It is called karma. It is called justice. Every dog has its day. So people are saying that yes, vice called tell take a lizard and truth be told. Even if you are the devil, if an X man take away your life, then he's supposed to face the court. So therefore, that is a court justice in a Jamaica. So it means absolutely nothing whether Lizard was a saint or not. However, the motive of this video is to show that he was not a saint. And based on what this man is saying, the allegations and accusations, he knew somebody in which Lizard also taken out. So therefore, Lizard take out a man over some sorts of shoes and then Lizard gets taken out over some sorts of shoes. Is it justice? Is it karma? So people, take a listen, take a look to the rest of the video, and then I'll give my piece. Have time to that two cartels say they're going to man with it. If he's dead, he's going to kill Chris Ferry and, and claim that he killed the man who teeth the gun. Right? Now, people that are like a shoes, and no shoes, a gun. When you take a stack, cartel go on a scene and go check one I'm bridging. And you know, as friend and friend, when you get something new, I shot at your boots and you show your brethren, your real brethren. When they come check, you say, I get a new thing, you know. And God tells you, what? It's a new thing. You say, where you get the gun there? And man, I tell him, say, you know, a lizard sell me the gun, yeah? 
and Carl said, so you know she am my gun. So as Carl told me get the sound, but I was not there. And through priest brothers, me heard is my brethren when I come as Sabbath, come keep service, wall up the guard, the international guard, he always wall the international guard, the front one, the red, gold and green band. Yeah, he's a man who's a soldier of God, not a warrior, because go down, they go kill him, brother. And I was so badly disappointed when I hear say, please, I go kill the innocent bubble. I know, say, man, I tell him, say, I want him to put nothing in the yard. Why we not deal with that? Our law and principle in the bubble shanty, we say, gun is enemy to man. So you make some man come now and put on turban and say, them a bubble. Them only a try to astonish the bubble shanty tradition. Because Bobo Shanti said, thou shalt not kill. We is the only man to come up and keep up that law. Thou shalt not kill. And we say, gun an enemy to man. You understand? For when they met gun, it wasn't to kill bird or oxen. It's to kill man. And that is what go on. So, where cartel is concerned, I am not his friend, neither I am not his enemy. Right? And them are doing good singing, and if them are turning into badness, them should force to say it now go work. Because I am like a lot, too. I, I don't deal with badness and cruelty, dishonesty, and all these things. All them things that I dash right when I become Rastafari, 1976. I just summarize now my Rasta fullness coming from Remand section from GP Penitentiary. I was there from 1975. All when Taki come there, all when Taki come there and Grimlax, I was there. He was upstairs and me downstairs from the same ward. You understand? In charge of murder. Wrote all locks and foot before he come back a road and trim and become the general stocky. You understand? No. So I sure say the man who killed Priest Ferdy, the Almighty God now make him go and punish. So if a cartel kill him, I free cartel for that charge because him shouldn't come to lie the man thief gun and the man no mingle with gun at all and force the man and put gun in the man yard and come back and kill the bubble. Nothing come out of that. Nobody talk about that. My love. But that charge cartel that prison for. So I asked the law and the Privy Council and the judge and all the government. Prim. Yes. If there is any other criminal charge it to be done then you can't charge him for that. But that lizard murder, cartel, if I am kill him, I got in a cartel to kill that man who killed the innocent priest. When I deal with badness, my lord, this is my talk. So people, you just heard what this man had to say. He is the friend of a man that lost his life, Prince or Priest Purdy, Boba Shanti Rastaman. In which Lizard tried to hide some sorts of tool that supposedly belonged to Vice Cartel. And then go back and claim, say, that the man thief the tool all along. Lizard knew that he missed up the shoes, probably sell the shoes. Somebody take the shoes from him. Again, the rule of the law is that you cannot, should not take life if you cannot give it. Whether somebody did you wrong, it is not your duty to take the law upon your own hand and take away a man, whether it is for something legitimate or illegitimate. Ill-gotten gains. So therefore, if Cartel was guilty, his co-accused was guilty of taking away Lizard, and the court can prove that they were, then the court should make sure justice is served. So I am not here to dispute the case. I am here to let you hear what this man is talking about as it pertains to thief, tequa thief, K-I-L-L-E-R, tequa a next person just like him. This man is saying that he does not feel any sort of way. And if you ask a lot of persons, it is going to be mixed review because people feel say. If you out there a take with people life, when you lose your life, you had it coming. So therefore, this man is just saying, free vibes cartel because he has a bone of contention to pick. With the fact that Lizard took away an innocent man that he was trying to hide some sorts of tool 
in the man yard, when the man tell him don't do it, and when him realize eh, him couldn't find back the tool for give vice cartel whatever the circumstances why the tool got missing, he then tried to make this man out to be some sort of scapegoat and come back and take away this man. So therefore, when you hear lizard mother attack and other persons that are defending lizard, he is no saint. Was he supposed to be K-I-L-L-E-D? Probably not. Nobody should take it up on their head, especially when there was some sorts of toll, meaning G-U-N, missing because of some sorts of gangster. People, I am just letting you hear what persons out there are saying. So therefore, you have a better idea of who these characters that we are thinking about, these characters that we are defending are, and what they've been out there doing, allegedly. Word on the street, which is not always 100% proof. So people, me just say, pick sense out of nonsense. Think about why people would say stuff. Sometimes people have some sorts of ulterior motive. However, like you hear this man say, him is a bobo shante, he does not believe in any sorts of criminal activity, any sorts of tool, any sorts of nothing, none at all, only righteousness. So therefore, when I listen to this man in the voice note, I tend to believe what he is saying. Can I validate or verify what he's saying is true? No. Hence why I am saying pick sense out of nonsense. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Point blank and period. So the edited version of the video that you just saw is of an incident that occurred at Hyredale High School in which a student scale or jump the partition between two classrooms. When the teacher saw him, the teacher told him to come down. There was some sorts of verbal altercation. He then jumped down from atop that partition, walk up to the teacher, chuck the teacher, meaning push him and bat him up, talk all sorts of stuff, all sorts of threatening words. The teacher realized that this youth was of big stature. The teacher realized that this youth is a trouble youth, a menace to the school society. So the teacher pretty much back up. Now people, when we saw this, we should not be surprised because we've seen the trend that has been occurring in all of these high school, the non-traditional high school. We see that these picnic, they are not students, they are more participants in a some sort of penitentiary. Call them inmates or gangsters in training, future criminal elements, most of them. Now people, when I did that video yesterday, I said, this youth are going like say, I'm a train for champs. I had no sorts of idea that this youth was one of their top hot athletes. Lo and behold, I got some more information later on in the day. So yes, this youth has been a troublemaker in the school. This youth thief teacher car, mark, mark it up, mash it up, destroy it, rate it, lay, lay, give all sorts of trouble. However, it seems as if the school is afraid of them, are afraid of him and his family. They have called up his family many, many occasions them come. However, this youth is still in school. Maybe the school, the dean of discipline, the principal, the teacher, is in fear of their life that this youth might come back and pretty much blaze up the whole school. It is not too late. It could still happen. Yet to be determined. So based on the information, it is said that, yes, this youth is a star athlete. However, he should not be running because he did not make the grades. Gone are the days when you could have done slight bat and still run at champs as long as you have any sorts of football or track and field skills, they are going to make you participate. Those rules have since changed. In America, Jamaica, I think the same. Don't quote me on this. So therefore, it is said that when this incident occurred, instead of them reprimand the youths, them calling the teacher and tell the teacher, listen, don't say nothing, try to quash it. Try for just sweep it under the rug because this youth has to perform at champs. Now, people, if you've been watching track and field, you know that Heidel is one of the more prominent high school as it pertains to female. However, when it comes to the male, yes, them have some good athletes, but they are not as dominant as the likes of a JC in which I went to, KC or Calabar. Those are the top three schools in a champ. 
everybody else around a distant third or fourth or fifth or whatever it is called. So like the saying goes, wherever there is smoke, there is fire. And it shows where their priorities lie. In are the student athletes, instead of the teacher's safety and security. It is win-win-win at all costs. It does not matter who these athletes step on. They are going to squash it. They are going to sweep it under the rug. It is only now for the education ministry for stepping and make sure that this youth don't run at champs. This youth does not come back to that school because he is a problem child. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please to show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.